Welcome to this video. The first short answers to big questions. We all have questions, don't we? Particularly at a time like this. Why is this happening? Why is the coronavirus spreading around the world? Why is my life being turned upside down? When's it gonna end? Am I gonna get through? Do you ever think about God in those questions? In these videos, I want to answer some of our questions and think about what the Bible has to say. If there are questions you want to ask, please put them in the comments below or contact us through our website. All the links are found in the description. If you want to make sure you don't miss any of these videos, you can subscribe and hit the notifications button. So where do we start? Here's a question. Where is God in COVID-19? Where is God in these corona days? Can I be honest? That's a massive question. And the Bible gives us loads of answers, but two big ones come to mind. The first, God is here to help. I'm going to talk about that in the next video, but here I want to focus on the other one. Where is God in COVID-19? Do you want to know what the Bible says? It tells us that God's in control. It tells us that God's in charge. The coronavirus is not roaming around the world wherever it wants to go. God is on the throne. The Bible says that God is in charge of all things. COVID-19 marches around the world, attacking everyone in its path. In all kinds of ways, it is devastating lives. Where's God? The Bible says he's in control. A few weeks ago, Boris Johnson, our Prime Minister, caught coronavirus. He was really ill and had to be admitted to hospital. The man who was leading the country was now out of action. He had to stand aside. He was no longer calling the shots. Is that what's happened to God? Why are these corona days happening? Has God fallen asleep on the job? Has he been distracted by other things? Is he incapable of doing anything about it? The Bible says no to every one of those questions. Over and over when good comes and when bad strikes, it tells us that he's in control. Now I know that raises a whole heap of questions. If God's in control, why doesn't he stop bad things from happening? If God really is in charge, why doesn't he end COVID-19 right now? Stephen Fry famously concluded that if God exists and has the power to change things, then he must be evil, monstrous, and an utter maniac. Because he doesn't remove evil. Now, I don't believe that's a right conclusion, yet I understand how you might get there. If God is in control, why doesn't he change it? Does that mean he's a nasty God? I do plan to answer that in a later video. For now, though, can I ask you to think about this for a minute? What would it mean if God's not in charge? What does it mean if there isn't a God who is all-powerful and in control of everything that happens? Well, first, it means that life is random. It means that everything is just an accident. There's no purpose to events. There's no reason for anything. Last week, a video came up on my Facebook page. An orchestra in Norway were playing Celine Dion's hit, All By Myself. Each of the musicians were in their own home, playing their own part, and someone had mixed them together and made the video. It was funny. It was great. It was uplifting. Now imagine you're one of those musicians. You receive the email, subject, music video. In the email, it says, Please send in a video of you playing something. That's it. When those videos come in, what have you got? A random mess of unconnected music. Everyone has their own ideas and sends in their own thing. You need someone to be in charge. Someone needs to orchestrate it. Is history a series of random events made up by the people of their time, or is there a bigger picture? Is your life, is my life an accident, or is there a purpose in our existence? If there is no one behind it all, if there is no all-powerful God who is in control, then there is no bigger picture. There is no grand purpose. 
Life is, at best, a bunch of random actions and events with no connections. But that's not what the Bible says. It says that God is on the throne, that everything he does has a meaning and a purpose, that the events of this world are part of that, that we, that our lives have meaning and purpose as we fit within that bigger plan. If you ditch an all-powerful God, it seems to me you ditch the foundation of meaning and purpose in life. But there's more, you also destroy any basis for hope in the future. Now, what do I mean by that? One of the things that's become obvious over the last few weeks is our weakness as a human race. One virus and we're left hiding in our homes, scrambling to try and find a way out. We are not in charge of our circumstances. All we can do is respond in the best way we can. And as we look to the future, what other disaster is going to strike? What's the next thing we will face? Can we ever remove bad things from this world? Yes, we have small victories. Medicine is so much better than it was. Life has been extended. Measures have been taken to remove poverty. Diplomacy has stopped many wars and the bloodshed they would have brought. But this is just scratching the surface. Did you know the Bible speaks about the future? It speaks about an eternity where God's people will live with him. An eternity that's often been referred to as heaven. But actually the Bible says it will be lived out in a new and renewed physical creation. The new heavens and the new earth. The Bible says it will be a place with no more death or mourning or crying or pain. Just try to imagine that for a moment. Have you ever sat in an undertaker's office and had to organise the funeral of someone you love? Between the tears, you have to answer painful questions and make decisions that seem so inconsequential, like what colour do you want the coffin to be? You will never have to do that in the new heavens and the new earth. Can you imagine a world where nothing is broken? That's what the Bible promises. But it can only be true if God is in control of all things. How can I know there won't be a virus so big that it will destroy these plans? How can I know that there won't be evil that can break in? Only an all-powerful God who is in control can guarantee this. So where is God in COVID-19? What does the Bible say? He's in control. He's awake, he's aware, and he's in charge. As out of control as it seems, Corona doesn't have free reign. God's on the throne. Thanks for watching Short Answers to Big Questions. If you want to ask more questions, use the comments or contact us through our church website. The links are in the description below. If you want to know when we put out more of these videos, why not subscribe and click the notifications button. If you'd like to, you can also join us for our Sunday services. They're available at the moment through our YouTube channel. We upload a playlist every Sunday morning with songs, prayers, children's talk and a Bible talk. It would be great if you could join us.